guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are back here in Jurassic World, and uh, all the dogs are doing quite well, I think. Lady's good, Spark is good, Doug's good. Let's get all the dogs up. Let's, we need to get them some exercise. They've been sitting around for a little while. Get everybody to sort of have a bit of a wander around and, and everything. There we go. Look, they're all here. They're all doing well. This is good, isn't it? Look at this. Doug with his little flat face and Spark with his little flat, flat face. She's a Staffordshire York Terrier. York, Sta Staffordshire Bull Terrier, sorry. Good job. And then Bailey with his little, little kind of sticky yaddy face. Good job, Ellie. <laughs> Bailey the Beagle. Ah, oh, dear. Right, well, we're back today. We need to make the most of the ores that we've got. Um, and to do that, as you guys know, we need to use the smeltery. But the smeltery has a problem. Uh, it doesn't have a controller. Um, let's just have a quick look inside here. Oh, look, Donolicus DNA. Nice. Dilophosaurus DNA. Brilliant. So we've now got two Donoticuses that we can do. We've got some sand. So this is the thing, right? Let me show you. We'll, we'll go over there so I can demonstrate this to you guys because you all need to need to see this so you're kind of like clear on the situation, what's going on and everything. So I'm just going to quickly head over this side because we want to get this quarry going as soon as we can. The sooner we can get the quarry going, the sooner we can dig underneath our visitor center and find out if there is a Jurassic World under there after all. I also want to use this teleportation stone because it's quite clear that Seri has been setting some cool things up. Um, so I want to check that out. But if you go over here, as you guys can see, um, this whole thing is not currently, uh, it's not got a controller on it, which means it is currently not not an operational uh, doodad, doodad hickey. I wonder, actually, I think I can probably take these ones and it won't affect the smeltery's ability. I think, because these are all the ones that are sort of around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm going to take take all this up, and we'll take all the ones around like the edges here. Essentially, what we've got to do is to make a controller. Uh, I'll show you because I've been looking at it. To make a controller, you have to have eight seer bricks like this with a hole in the middle, and to do that, you need to make grout. And to make grout, you've got to get some clay, some sand and some gravel. So there's quite a large collection of items that you need, but we also need the uh, smeltery lava filly bit, which is, let's have a look here, where is it? Which one is it? Um, Energize smelter? What the hell? Oh my god. Left shift for details. Stores energy and stuff. No, that's not what we want. Uh, doesn't seem to be in here. Uh, we're gonna have to look in the Tinker's Construct stuff, because I can't remember what it's called. Uh, let's have a look. This is all not it. There it is. There we go. Seared tank. That's what we need because we need that to put some actual like lava in the in the thing, which is uh, just a uh, like uh, the same thing with glass. So we need 16 pieces of uh, of the the seared brick, um, and we can do that by getting two blocks of clay, as you guys can see there. Two blocks of clay, and then once we've got two blocks of clay. Uh, we let's just take these out as well, because essentially, if, I don't know if you can you can tell what I'm doing here, but I'm just sort of like this is still going to be oh, a sparks inside there. We'll have to make him ping out. I'm trying to make this uh, more efficient by taking these out because they're not required by the actual smeltery. I don't think. I'm pretty sure we can you can just have the the sort of the three inside, and then it's fine like that. So let's just I'm just going to put these back. Uh, Doug, you're going to have to get you some over the way in a minute. We'll just go around this side like this, put this all back, make it nice. Everyone seems to be doing quite well actually today, which is good. All the dogs are, are really happy, which is good to see as always. Good dogs. Uh, and there we go. Put that back there. And then we'll just sort of add some for these ones here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put stairs around those sort of like parts, I guess. We don't have enough of this to sort of like go around the whole thing, I don't think. So let's just... Well, we're just going to leave it like that, leave it completely like basic, because we may as well leave it here, because we don't know currently what we're going to be doing in terms of making one inside the base or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave it sort of as it is. Now, as you saw before, if we go into this once again uh, and have a look, we need to get, so we need to get some sand, some gravel, and some clay. Now, we already have sand on us, so we need to find gravel and clay. Uh, now, there was gravel actually on that road, I think, right there, um, which I may as well use because it doesn't, it doesn't really any point in, in leaving it here if we need to use it. Uh, we need, how many pieces do we need? Let's have a look so we can do this efficiently. We need uh, eight pieces of gravel and eight pieces of sand. So we need a couple more pieces of sand and then we need two blocks of clay, which is like 
a load of bits of clay, but that's fine. We can we can definitely do that. If I just take out this whole like layer of gravel here, then we should have enough to do pretty much anything that we need to do, which is ideal. Getting some flints out of these as well, which is pretty cool. Make some more arrows for myself. Yeah. Although I should really focus on trying to get an infinity bow because that would be a much more sensible option. Uh, there needs to be something here. We'll put one of those pieces of gravel back. So these guys can actually still get out. There we go. Right, okay. So we're going to head down here to this little little selection of water and just see if there's any gravel, obviously, in this part. Um, past all the millions of different like wildlife that we have going on here, which is awesome. There's some salt. There's some gravel. There is some sand. I mean, I could just, like... Oh, they're fighting. We could just take away... Do you have any dirt on me? I have two pieces of dirt on me. So I'm just going to, like, get the two pieces that I need out and then put some, some dirt back instead. This looks like clay to me. Yes, this is clay. Okay, sweet. It's not enough, but it's it's a start. Uh, is there any more in this area at all? Let's have a look. None down there. Oh, there's some over here, I think. This is clay. Yeah, this is clay. Sweet. Get out of the way, you squid. Why are you in a freshwater? Is this freshwater? I assumed this is freshwater. So you're in a you're in a weird place. The dogs are now attacking him. I think the dogs killed him. <laughs> the dogs rip him, pieced him. Never mind, never mind. Okay, if we get all this clay, because clay is actually quite a good material, and it's something that we can definitely use uh, more rather than less, because we can make bricks and stuff out of it as well, which is pretty cool. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. All right, well, we're just going to get the ones that we've got here, and then we're going to go back up this side and take out that one, and there we go. Sweet, we have all the clay, all the clay. All the dogs are having a little swim, which is good. Doug doesn't really like swimming. Uh, he's a pug, and pugs don't like to swim. Um, that's just a known fact. Well, actually, I don't know if Doug likes to swim. My pug. I'll have to ask him at some point. Doug, do you like to swim? He doesn't know. He, he's not sure. There we go. Just gonna eat these apples. Now, I think we have everything that we need. We need to go to a crafting table. And I believe uh, from, again, if you guys are watching really closely at the end of yesterday's video, you would have seen that it looks like Ceres moved into this building here. Because there's like a, a, like a bed and stuff and everything, so let's have a look. Um, there's a crafting bench in here, which is what we need. So let's just do this. That doesn't work. Okay, so there's a problem there then. So what is the situation? Why is that the case? How do we make a block of clay? Doesn't look like we can. Well, that's fine, it doesn't matter. We can, we can just make the other recipe that we have there that you guys saw. It was like this, and this, and this. And there you go, we're making some grout. Boom, 16 grout, done. That's, that's like exactly the amount that we need, actually. Man, that was that was, uh, that was kind of fine. Now, we need to go and cook this um, in some kind of furnace or something. And we have a furnace uh, inside the visitor center. So we'll head over to the visitor center and do that. And then once we've done that, we will have the ability to make the Tinker's table, Tinker's smeltery place thing working. Hey, everybody. Hello. Good to see you all. Yeah. Um, and then once that's been taken care of, then we can get the resources that we need to make the quarry, which we need, and it's all just like this massive thing. I've got some more like Ganonimus DNA as well. Nice. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh, anything that I've got? Do I have any like stacks of dirt that I can just whack in the... Yeah, I've got loads. Okay, let's just do this. I'm just going to be like, bam, 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 bam. Apparently these, these do work, as you can see they're actually working right now. Just get all the dirt. Oh, I didn't put that, that stack in there as well. Oh, you can't. You can only put one stack in there. Okay, well, there we go. We've got one stack of dirt doing its thing. Uh, sweet. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's put um, these pieces of grout. Where have they gone there? I am grout. And look for something to cook them with. Coal is obviously the good choice. And there we go. Boom, that's done. Apparently, according to... Oh, there's already some coal in there. Lol. Apparently, according to you guys, there are actually... There's actually a chest that I set up in like a halfway house over in the mine that I didn't uh, go and collect the stuff from, so I need to go and do that at some point as well. You can see that our Pick of Destiny is slowly regenerating health, um, but but when I say slowly, it is going to be like super slow. So we're not going to worry too much about that. We're just going to leave it to sort of do its thing. Um, it's just auto-repairing. And you should be able to see, I don't know if I'll have to wait for ages on this screen. Let's have a look if it's going to change. No, I don't think it's going to change on that. The, basically, that number at the end there, the colon 37, goes down until it's not there anymore. And that's how it works, because it's super magical. So we need a piece of glass, which we can do by cooking this sand. There we go. Uh, and then we can make the two pieces that we need. We can put away some of this stuff that we don't currently need. Uh, we're going to use the 
the sear bricks to make another layer to the smeltery because that's a, a sensible thing to do. Um, and if we can, we can shave it down even more by taking the corners out. Maybe I don't, I don't know for sure if that's the case, but we're gonna we're gonna try it anyway. We'll put away this cobblestone. Uh, we'll put away this excess gravel. We'll put this obsidian away because we've now got like six pieces of obsidian, which is good. Uh, we'll keep the apples on us, and we'll just sort of put some things away. There we go. Just making a little bit of room so we've got some some stuff to work with. Uh, we've got all the glass now, which is good. Uh, but do we have any of those cooked? Those raw, raw pork chops. Do we have any more raw pork chops? No, we don't. Do we have any raw other anything else? No, we don't. Okay, well, I'm going to have to make the dogs go and sit down by the food place, I think. I can give Doug and Spark some food. Bailey's outside right now. I can get him some more food. I know he wants some. Um, let's just throw this egg in here. Maybe get a, get a little baby chicken. Nope. <laughs> Uh, no, there's nothing. There's nothing in there right now. It, that, that's not important. The, the, we can we can basically, if we want to feed Bailey, for example, we can come over here, and all the dogs will follow me here, and we can just get everybody to sit down next to the food bowl, and then they will eventually like eat when they want to. So that's fine. We can we can do that like temporarily. Let them do that whilst we're getting our other bits and pieces taken care of. We can make the just get that sand and stuff out of there. We can make the first thing that we wanted to make. We can make the... Oh, look, I've got loads more of those stone bricks. Nice. We can make the uh, controller. There we go. So we got the smeltery controller, and we also automatically got a book called Mighty Smelting, which we can have a little little browse of whilst we're waiting for that last bit to cook. Just tells you about how to do things. Uh, ores naturally have more materials uh, than processed versions such as ingot smelt will preserve the full value of the ores. Roughly twice as much as the regular firms will provide. Nice. And then sort of like everything here, blah, 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 blah. All kind of like just information about how it works, the different ores that you can get, including pig iron, <laughs> uh, alumite, manulian. So you can see like how like I went from cobalt and ardite. Alumite was made from aluminium, iron, and obsidian, blah, blah, blah. So there's all these different things that we can do. Um, but and we can sort of make smelteries and blah, blah, blah. It's all, it's all here. It's very, very, very straightforward. You can pause each of those places if you want to find out any more information about it. But I already know how it works. So I'm not going to worry too much about sitting here and reading that because I know that most of you guys who are watching this already know because you've been watching from the very start. And uh, you know because we've already put one of these down. Um, and I don't know if we actually did it le uh, like legit like on camera last time. I think I might, might have sort of set it up off camera. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. So uh, so yeah, it's one of those things where I just wanted to sort of like do a bit more stuff on camera because a lot of people were thinking that we were just sort of like cheating things in and then just being like, GG, see you later. So I'm just trying to do a bit more for you guys on camera so you just sort of like see the, the work that we put in, which I think is pretty sensible. Uh, right, zombie time. Getting everybody to take him out. That's good. Everybody's taking the zombie out. He's giving me some glowstone pants, I think, there. This spider's going to get taken out as well. I could put those glowstone pants on because I don't currently have any on, on me, which is good. Uh, right. I'm also going to just try because I want to I wanna just see if it will work. I'm going to take these out like this. There we go. Now I'm going to use um, some of my regular bricks to kind of like decorate it instead. So if I do this so we can still get up... And then this, and this, and this. Not that piece there, and then just come down. There we go. And then we're going to put some torches around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Uh, well, yeah, but, pff, I don't worry about that one. This one goes here, which means that this one goes here. There we go. Just being, being sensible with it. Yep, that's good. And then this one can go here. There we go. So we're just like making sure that it's all light around here, so we're not going to get ruined by some like crazy ass spider or something. So let's go in. We've got 24 of these, which might mean we can go two higher. Let's let's aim for two higher. Boom, 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 boom. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. No spark. Bad spark. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes, we've made actually a quite a nice high uh, thing here. Doug's like hanging out on that one. There we go. Let's reinforce it with these bits because it looks better. Sweet. We can take these out now. 
because we don't need them to be there anymore. Uh, and actually, what I could probably do is quickly nip into here and turn... Is there a crafting bench there? No, there's just one in Ceres' house. What I think is Ceres' house, anyway. I don't know for sure. I'm going to light Ceres' house up. What I think is Ceres' house. <laughs> there we go. See how bright it is now? Amazing. Um, I'm going to make these into some stairs because I don't have any right now. And I think that it's going to be useful just to have a few knocking about. There we go. Lovely. You can make all of them. 20 stairs. Nice. And then I'm going to make it a bit easier to get up and, and stuff. So put one there. Put one there. Put one there. I'm not quite sure why that one did that. But there, there, there. There. And then like that there. So it's just like nice and easy to get up to this area here. And then... The same thing with this one here. We'll do this, 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 like this. Simple, 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 and done. Perfect. Right, so that's, that's, that's that pretty much taken care of now. We've got sort of two areas where we can access the uh, the, the casting base and the casting table. Um, we can probably make some more of those as we go, but what we're actually going to do right now is set up the, the controlling system for the, for the thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the drain in, which is here, and then we're going to get the controller and put that in here. Bam. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more And that you really like me So You've been watching the Gaffcast We hope you have enjoyed the show Don't forget to check out All of our other videos